This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Because nothing like this has ever been seen before. This story is going to make you poop your pants, Pally. Perpendicular? Oh, I went one word way too many. Asteroid P2013P5 has turned into a comet with six tails. Yep, you heard that right. Asteroid P2013P5 has turned into a comet that has six tails radiating from it like the spokes on a wheel of time. We were literally dumbfounded when we saw it, said lead investigator David Jowett of the UC at LA. Do you mind if I repeat that again? I think it's cool that a science guy said that. We were literally dumbfounded. Yep, dumbfounded. Even more amazing, its tail structures change dramatically in just 13 days as it belches out dust. That also caught us by surprise. It's hard to believe we're looking at an asteroid. Oh, the irony. Well, we know it's not a cat of nine tails because uh, I think they have nine tails. I don't know. I've, I've never actually seen one. But you know what? P2013 P5 sounds neither like a rock, which is their basic definition of an asteroid, nor does it sound like a dirty snowball. Science's official definition of a comet. And if you are brand new to this astronomy thing, I'm not pulling your leg. They really say it's a dirty snowball. Crazy. Never seen before. Never before seen a comet with six tails. It was the Hubble, our beloved camera, that discovered that it had multiple tails. The images were taken on the 10th of September. And then when the Hubble returned to the asteroid on the 23rd of September, the asteroid's appearance had totally changed, baby. And I'm not making that up or sensationalizing it. It's exactly what the story says. Science is saying things like, it's a weird and freakish object. That's what she said. It looks like a rotating lawn sprinkler. That's what nobody said. That's what some science guy said. Six tails of dust radiating from it because nothing like this has ever been seen before. These are crazy times, party people. The most alarming thing about this story is the fact that it woke up in the asteroid belt, which is the thing between Jupiter and Mars, which ain't that far away. And they had told us about the Lazarus comets, and these dead asteroids who were slowly turning into comets. I'm gonna go ahead and say something wacky is happening in our solar system. Things seem to be magnetized and have come alive. Sweet. Well, I guess now that this object has gotten really fascinating, the Hubble won't be taking a picture of it for like another three or four months. And then it'll be another five months before we get to see it. Ha! But I kid, and I digress. What does digress even mean? Astronomers believe that it is possible for the asteroid's rotation rate increased to the point where its surface started flying apart. Well, sure, that sounds like by far the least freaky explanation, but I ain't buying it. A, what made it start spinning a whole lot faster? And B, if an asteroid is just falling apart in the asteroid belt, that doesn't seem like any reason for it to just start glowing. And NASA just happened to take a photograph of this thing on the 10th. Well, by luck, they're like, hey, look, six-tailed asteroid. P. What does a P stand for? That is a lot of tails. We have our first polygamist asteroid. You can't have six different tails, dude. Well, I guess you can if you don't marry them. I'm starting to get the feeling that dust is the new swamp gas. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Buy me a joke. Careful modeling by team member Jessica Agarwal said, showed that the tails could have been formed by a series of impulsive dust ejection events. And then she calculated that the dust ejection events occurred April 15th, July 18th, July 24th, August 8th, August 26th, September 4th. That's the thing about math. It's a lot like crack. But if they do too much of it, they start to see things. Radiation pressure could have spun P2013 P5 up. I don't know. Not buying it. Sometimes it feels like science is trying to fit things into their models instead of admitting that their model might not be totally correct. And at this point, only a teeny tiny fraction of its main mass has been lost due to the dust ejecting, that is, correcting, whatever, a rotational breakup. Breakups are always tough. Oh, hey, Jowett said it appears P2013 P5 is a fragment of a larger asteroid that broke apart in a collision roughly 200 million years ago. And he figured out that with his calculator. There are many collision fragments in orbits similar to P2013 
2013 P5. Meteorites from these bodies show evidence of having been heated to as much as 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. They must have been talking to my ex-ladies. I heated them up a lot. That sounds stupid and weird. This means that the asteroid is likely composed of metamorphic rocks and does not hold any ice as a comet does. Yeah, it's weird. Thanks, official science, for muddling up my brain. We were dumbfounded. Sweet. Or as I'm calling it, the asteroid of the century. I mean, it is. Come on. Woohoo! The asteroid was discovered as an unusually fuzzy looking object with the Panstar Survey Telescope in Hawaii. Is it just me or. Is it just me, or have the professional astronomers of today mastered the fuzzy photograph? Brum bum, cha cha, zing. Brum bum, cha cha, zing, zing. Wowie. She calculated that first ejection event occurred on April fifteenth. Who calculates ejection events? She does. Follow-on observations may show if the dust leaves the asteroid in the equatorial plane. Astronomers are also going to try to measure the asteroid's true spin rate. Show it. Interpretation implies that rotational breakup must be a common phenomena, phenomena in the asteroid belt. It may even be the main way in which small asteroids die. In astronomy, where you find one, you eventually find a whole bunch more. This is just an amazing object to us, and most certainly the first of many more to come. Bum bum bum. Yeah. We were completely knocked out, as what Joy said. Yeah, dude, so I've been covering all this stuff for a reason. Things are getting weird, and things are getting weirder. Who knows what's going to happen next? The only thing we know for certain is that I'm not going to get any cuddle time. Awesome. And in closing, I want to say that it's like they're leaking out little droplets of what they might know the future to be. So a few months ago, when they talked about the Lazarus comets, asteroids that Asteroids that have somehow magically turned into comets in the asteroid belt. I was alarmed. Not alarmed, just like, oh my god, we're all gonna die. We're just alarmed, like, whoa! Alright? And I've mentioned it again and again and again. Oh wait, someone in the comments the other day said, please don't do that again and again and again thing. So I think I just made a mad. To you, I apologize. I think this is important, people. It doesn't say much about our society that we have 15,000 cameras in geosynchronous orbit around Earth pointed at Earth. And we got like 12 cameras pointed at the solar system, the Milky Way, the universe, other galaxies. And over at the LA Times, Deborah Netburn, now there's a name for you, calls it bizarre. And she mentions that David Jewey mentions, I'm trying not to use the word freak, but that's what it is. It is definitely freakish. And she goes on to write, what makes this find especially weird is that the asteroids almost never have any kind of a tail at all. Well, then I must be an asteroid. I'm not getting any kind of tail at all. She did not say that. I did. She says, Those dramatic blue tails we see in images from space are generally associated with comets. Dirty snowballs. <sighs> I hate that term. See? Asteroids, also known as space rocks. Space rocks and dirty snowballs. That sums up everything that isn't a planet. This thing should just be a rock. I said, Jet. Imagine if you went in your backyard and a rock started spatting this stuff off. Wow. So what's going on here? No one is totally sure. That's for sure. No, there's going to be one dude who's like, I know exactly what's going on. And that asteroid is an asteroid. Don't you dare try and call it something else. Or I'll radiation pressure your face. But hey, don't take Joe Witt's word for it. I am completely open to the possibility that this explanation is completely wrong. Wow, did a science guy really say that? He must have been watching my channel. It is possible. That there is an explanation we haven't thought of yet that might be more interesting. Holy crap! Has science been watching my channel? They sure sound a lot smarter. That is cool. Hold on. I need to go pat myself on the back. Alright, so I've jibbered jabbered on a bit. Okay, so I got loquacious. It feels like it's been forever since I've done a video. I have a feeling we will return to this story again soon. I want to thank you guys for watching, listening, being an awesome astonisher. And uh, God bless everyone. Stay awesome. It's a weird and freakish object. That's what she said. It looks like a rotating lawn sprinkler. That's what nobody said. The asteroid of the century. Yep, dumbfounded.